every doctor that we talked to didn't have any hopes for her that that she was not going to make it. They one doctor gave us two weeks, and another one wouldn't accept her, and um, it just was. It seemed like a dead end. She was born with gastroschisis at birth, and they repaired the gastroschisis, which ended up being short gut. A normal baby is born with 200. And 50 centimeters of small intestine. She was born with 25. The little bit that she had did not work. I just knew that I had to do something. I wasn't going to lose my child. I was not okay with just sitting back and letting her go. And uh, whether it was getting 25 opinions from doctors or I had to do whatever I had to do to know that if she did pass away, I knew deep down that I tried. I tried everything that I could to save my daughter. I heard about Nebraska Medicine through her TPN company that delivers and supplies her internal meds. She said that she heard a success story from the, about the medical center and this is where we, we came. Well, when Bray came, she, I mean, she was very little, you know, she was really, really small and she was really sick. You know, she, she had this big, big stuck out protuberant tummy and, and little skinny body and she was kind of yellow and she just, she really, really needed, we, we needed to do something quickly to get her better. I was supposed to come up for two weeks, um, give or take, and we just ended up staying for, it was eight months straight. He was able to tackle her TPN and tackle her meds and, and do surgeries and try to fix as much as he can as long as he had hands on because we live so far away. I think we had a great strength of team between us all, between you know myself and the dietitians and the nurses and we've added people onto the team over the years and as we've added on we've all stayed together and we've been this very tight crew for a long time. Are you pretty much eating what you want to? Yeah, like whatever. For her, it was really good that we could all be together through all these years and take her right from, you know, one year old to almost 14 now. I could cry and I can yell and I can tell them that I wasn't happy and they were always there. They were always understanding when it came to Bray because one day I'd come in with a smile on my face, the next day I'd be crying my eyes out and it's just, it's a roller coaster. But they were always there for support no matter what. She had a lot of mom time, a lot of me and her, so we are very close. But um, I was very fortunate and blessed that I was able to have somebody to keep my other children and um, take care of them while I was taking care of my oldest that needed my help. 13 years, I've had 55 to 56 surgeries from having short gut and gastroschisis. When I was little, I would always have my TPN and I would always like want to be like other girls at school, like, hey, mom, can I go have a sleepover? Can I like do spa day and everything with them? And I couldn't because I had to go home every night and have a big bag and machine that would go off every night pretty much. But now, like, I feel free. I feel like I can do anything I want because of Dr. Mercer. He made me so much better and I want to thank him for that. Bray's future looks awesome. I mean, you can just look at how good she looks right now. She's only going to be better. She'll only get better and better and better as she gets older. It took 13 years of off and on of doing the back and forth from Louisiana to here, but it was well worth it. I mean, I, would, I wouldn't trade it for the world. You know, God dealt me this hand and we played it out. And now look at her. So we did good.